Yitzchak Purim Samayak. I wouldn't uh, normally uh, celebrate Purim, but I have uh, I have several friends who do, and I have one friend, uh, Lale Tonsa, down in Shrewsbury, who seems to be embracing all religions. Uh, she's even learning Aramaic to be able to read the Torah. Well, actually, you only need one line from the Torah, which is Hillel's interpretation, which is, of course, treat others as you would yourself. The rest is commentary. Uh, the thing about uh, many of my non-Jewish friends, um, and there's a few examples, they, uh, they seem to want me to do uh, more ritualistic things. And, you know, I'm happy to do the Friday night prayers. I'm happy to celebrate Hanukkah. Uh, but the ritual is, yeah, you know, how important is the ritual? I don't know. The thing about Purim is it's, a, a, it's supposedly a time of joy. And it's a time for dressing up and wearing things. So I'm doing my best to be approved by, by Lale. Um... So I'm going to sing a song that both Sam Ghosts and I and uh, Dan have sung at the UGC, which is the place that Lale runs in Shrewsbury. Um, I'm going to sing it partly for the people who've been to the UGC, and there are a fair few of those. I'm going to sing it for uh, Kate Lowenthal, uh, Jeff Cohen, um, Laura Golding, and various other either more or less orthodox friends of mine. And so this is yet another version of You Don't See Me. I'm playing on a holiday I'm wondering what to see
I'll be back.